What's going on, YouTube? Zay Fields here on this Monday, December 4th, 2023. I did want to elaborate on what I was talking about yesterday in my uh, La Crib because I was so limited on time with the Broncos gang already started. I didn't have time to really touch upon this. Uh, I, I, sorry, I already get my kudos to Alabama beating Georgia in the SC title game. So uh, best of luck, Alabama. I hope you lose to Michigan. I hope Michigan kicks the living shit out of y'all. And I already talked about what's coming up on my channel. Like I said, I still got to do the vlogs and whatnot. It's mainly just high school football vlogs, you know, from the Jordan Kendrick game I went to early in November and the Carver playoff games. And I think I got a festival. No, yeah, I do got a festival vlog that's coming up. Uh, I need to up. Uh, I think that's the next vlog that's going to be going up. So the festival vlog from um, the Food and Truck, Food, Food Truck Festival at Waverly Hall. And another music concert involving um, Damn Skippy. So that's what's coming up on my channel. Like I said, I'm not doing any birthday vlogs. I'm not doing a birthday stream. I'm not doing anything on uh, relation to YouTube on my birthday. Uh, only thing I do plan on doing is turning up and enjoying life off YouTube. And maybe with a female. We shall see. That's a couple weeks down the line. But um, other than that. Nothing else to really talk about as far as um, streams and whatnot. I don't know if I mean, not streams, but like content whatnot. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, I did want to touch on this. Like, I, want to do, I do want to get a PSA to the females right quick. Oh, what, what, wait, wait. There's one more thing I do want to touch on. Um, I think I mentioned this yesterday, but I want to make sure we're clear. It's kind of funny that Georgia fans are so... It's Monday morning, and Georgia fans are still pissed off. they still in their proverbial feelers. They, they said, uh, like, Georgia is so entitled to everything. Like, I'm hearing Georgia fans talking about, oh, Georgia won 29 straight games. Um, Georgia back-to-back -back national title. How come we're not in the playoff? Y'all, like, tw winning 29 straight games is going to automatically get you in the playoffs. Y'all, like... Winning two straight is going to automatically get you in the playoffs. That was two years. That was two years ago and last year. This is this year. You lost at the worst time that you could have lost. Had you lost to Florida or hell, had you lost to Auburn or South Carolina, if they ran the table and got the twelve and one, won your conference title, then maybe you'd be in the playoff. It's not anybody's fault but your own that you decide. Well, not I want to say you decide that y'all just wind up losing the SEC title game, and that happened to be a death blow. That's all on how that felt. Y'all did that to them a couple years back. So I don't want to hear shit from y'all. Oh, now the shoe's on out of the foot. Y'all need y'all just need to man up, woman up, take your L, and uh, move the fuck on. It is what it is. Try again next year. Damn. And you got people talking about they don't want to watch. What? Well, just turn on your fan card at this point. Like, if y'all don't want to watch the game because your team's not in it, then turn on your fucking fan card. Hell. Florida was in a similar position back in 2009. Won 22 straight. Then wound up taking the L in the SC title game in Alabama. Not just out the playoffs, but you know what? It is, you know, it, it sucked, but it is what it is. You know, you can't win every game. You're not going to win every game. Yeah, it feels like Georgia fans feel so entitled that they're just going to win every game for the rest of their life. No, you're not. You're going to lose to Florida again soon. You're going to lose to Auburn again soon. You're going to lose to South Carolina, Tennessee. You're going to, you're going to start losing these two teams soon. It may not be next year or the year after, but don't act like you're never going to lose to those teams again. That's the problem with y'all, man. Y'all, man. And I and I went to bat for y'all. I said, regardless of regardless, Georgia is getting in because they're undefeated. I just don't see how they fall out the top four. But after the way y'all acting between Saturday night and today, I'm glad y'all didn't get in now. I mean, not that I wanted y'all to get in, but I was just saying realistically y'all should get in. But that was before uh, Saturday's game. I started to see how the rest of uh, the the playoffs was shaping up. I, I had to retract back what I said. I said, I was like, I don't know Georgia might get in now. We'll have to see. But I'm glad y'all didn't get in. Y'all going to act like this. Hell, I, honestly, I know this is a long shot, but I wish Ohio State would have got in that fourth spot. That way I could have did the triple laugh. Fuck you all to Florida State, Bama, and Georgia. Because all, all three of y'all motherfuckers wouldn't have got in. But um, do I feel bad for Florida State for not getting in? No. Fuck Florida State. You know, I do I do feel like they were more, they were, you know, 
I do feel like, you know, if you undefeated, you win your conference, you know, you should have a shot at a championship. I will admit that. But I guess they feel like they didn't want another TCU situation to where, let's say hypothetically, Florida State beats um, Michigan because that's who they would have played anyway. Then they play either Texas or Washington for the championship and then get blown out 65-7 to 7 or some shit like that. So I guess they wanted to avoid that this year, which I completely understand. But don't worry, Florida State fans. Don't worry, Georgia fans. Alabama's going to get the shit kicked out of by Michigan. Jalen Mills shit is going to like dog shit against Michigan's defense. They're not ready. It's going to like they're going to look like Texas all over. It's going to be like the Texas in the USF game all over again. The Alabama offense is going to fold up. So we don't we won't have to worry about them winning the national title this year. I, I, no, that is why I rather Florida State got it than Alabama over Alabama because we already know Florida State is going to meet their demise. But Alabama, we're tired of seeing who, who isn't tired of seeing Alabama in the playoffs all the time and compete for championship. That's just getting old, you know. But hey, if you want to be the best, you got to knock them off your perch. That's what Georgia did two years ago. That's what um, Clemson did when Clemson was really good. They, I wouldn't say that Clemson sucks, but they're not get, as good as they once was. So, so yeah. And I'm still going to watch uh, some of the bowl games, even though Florida's not in it. You know, I'm not, I mean, I, I am a little disappointed Florida's not getting in, but hey, shouldn't have lost to Arkansas. Shouldn't have gave up that fourth and 17 against Missouri. What, a, what other game we can look back at? Should have played, should have played better than the second against Florida State. Utah game, should have made, shouldn't have had simple errors in the Utah game, but I don't know if Florida State would have won, but. I feel like some of those errors in the Utah game really came back and bit Florida in the errors down the line. Now, the Georgia-Kentucky game is like, those, uh, yeah, the, uh, Kentucky, uh, Kentucky really had their way with Florida. There was, it wasn't any one or two plays that would have changed the outcome in that. And Georgia's Georgia, you know. I was hoping on a wing and prayer that Florida would pull off the upset, but realistically, it just didn't seem possible. It just didn't. And who, who else we lost to? Oh, LSU. No comment. But anyways, um, I, but yeah, that's all about that. Um, now, what I, what I really want to touch up on as far as um, what I was talking about yesterday before uh, I cut the stream, I'm still on my mission to see if it's meant for me to be married or not. So to the females out there, you're, if you're not my type, you're not, if I, got, if I see no future with you, don't ask me to hang out with you all the time. Especially, you know, because I look at it like this. It, it doesn't help my situation. I, anything, it hurts this, my situation because what if a woman that I see an attraction to sees me and finds me attractive and whatnot, and they might, they might see a future, but yet they're scared to approach because they see me with you, and then they're going to think we're together, and they don't want to. So that that's a lost opportunity for me. Because at the end of the day, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be selfish, I'm just trying to be honest. Like, I got to look out for me. I can't look out for anyone else. You know, it's not my fault. You know, I think like some of these women need to get more friends, whatnot, so they can leave me the fuck alone. Like, go f go find a simp. If you want to be around a guy all the time that, and you don't want a relationship, go find a simp. You're not going to, because uh, you're not getting that from me. So, and also, I, I kind of, and I'm a little disappointed in myself, though. The reason being because, I've been slipping a little bit. I admit, I I always say that I would never hang out with coworkers outside of outside of work. I've been slipping on that a little bit, you know. I have been hanging out with coworkers outside of work. Not lately though, but that was but last year I was doing that. So, um, yeah, I'm back on the ball now. We're back to Aphil's production type things. No more hanging out with coworkers. No more of this fuck shit. I mean, well, I wasn't doing any fuck shit, but like, no more hanging out with females that you know. That's going to be cop blocking my chances of getting my mission done. It's not, you know, we, we got to get back. I'm getting back on the ball, you know. Back to Phil's Productions Matters. Uh, also, um, speaking of women, um, I view my life as a book. And, you know, when you read books, you go through certain chapters of the book. And that, you know, and that's how I view my life. He's like, I have certain chapters that happen in my book. You know, hanging out with coworkers, you know, chilling out with this female, even though they're, um, you know, just friends, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. I'm in my 30s now, y'all. 
is whole hanging out with females just to be friends and all that. And I don't see a future with you anyway. I don't find you attractive. That shit is over. So um, I feel like that chapter in my life is already came to an end. And I'm the type of person to where once a chapter ends in my life, I move on to the next one. I don't revisit a chapter. I don't go backwards, you know. We move forward. That's life. That's progress, you know. Because, like, what's the gain from moving back, you know? Going backwards. Nothing. That'd be like me going, um, dating a female, and we broke up, and, and the breakup was bad. And then, about a year later, I decided to go back to her. Or trying to run back to her. No, I'm not doing that. You know, hang out with coworkers. It was not a good experience. I, I told myself I never did it, and I, and I broke my own word and did it anyway. But I look at it last year, year before, uh, or more so last year, never again. Uh, no more meetups, no more, you know, if I see, if I see y'all out in public, that's, that's one thing, you know, if I'm out in the public and I just have to run to y'all, because I can't control where y'all go. But just to do the meetups, no, that's last year. And it's kind of crazy that one of these, one of my coworkers still wants to uh, do meetups today, like, no, that was last year. Move on. Go hang, you know, go hang with your own friends, you know. It's the reason why, it's the reason why I stopped inviting you to places. Plus, you know, I ain't fit for my lifestyle anyway, so. They'll just, they'll just keep it thorough. You're not built for it. You're not. We move forward, not backwards. But yeah, um, yeah, we're getting back on the, I'm getting back on the ball now. So, uh, no more hanging out with coworkers. No more of that, um, hanging out with, yeah, I'm, I'm done with all that. If, uh, and that's why, uh, Sports Live in the ATL, if you want to know why I don't really hang out with you like that, all, a lot, that's why I'm, I'm trying to focus on my mission. Got nothing to do with you. Got nothing to do with where you're hiding. It's just, I got to focus on me. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, I'm trying to get married to a woman. I'm not trying to be buddy buddies like that with people off on YouTube, excuse me. And, you know, it's not even that damn, you know. And that's what I was trying to tell you. Don't take it that serious, bro. Don't take it serious. It's just, it's nothing personal. It's just business. I think that's it for now. Um, just wanted to touch bases with what I was wanting to talk about yesterday. Oh, by the way, I finally finished. I finally finished. The two strands are officially gone. Um, I got to get rid of the book of appointment real soon. I, I'm, I'm going to try to, uh, I'm, I'm going to let it be wavy for a minute. Then I'm going to do some ACV on it. You know, just kind of get whatever gunk out of it. Because I don't think there is any, but just in case there is some gunk, don't get it out of there and and try to book an appointment soon so try to do it close to my birthday that way it'd be fresh off the presser for my birthday so but yeah i think that's gonna be what the fuck that was a well that was a shock i didn't expect her to come out of nowhere but anyways um but yeah, uh, that's all I really got for now. If I think of anything else, uh, I will let y'all know. Oh, oh yeah, uh, I do want to. Let me uh, speaking of events. Let me go. On, uh, I feel like what you uh, the vlogs I had mentioned they're gonna be coming out. I think that's gonna be what you get for now. Uh, as far as the events that's gonna happen here, they're really starting to slow down now because um, I know uh, some Christmas stuff got canceled due to weather. Not that I was going to go to those anyway, but um, if I do go to any future events uh, within the next couple of weeks, it'll be the Fantasy and Lights thing. I, I did it last year, but there's two parts of Fantasy and Lights. You got the uh, walk-around version, and then you got the uh, drive-through version. I, I did not do the drive-through version last year. I said if I go back this year, I'm going to do the drive-through version. So, and Fantasy and Lights is open right now, so they should stay open till the end of the year, so... But other than that, there there are no other events that's going down. Uh, they did we did have a concert here last weekend. Um, I missed it because I didn't think to get my ticket so early on. So oh well, there'll be other concerts. No big deal. But yeah, so um, that should give me some chance to uh, get caught up on these vlogs. Like I'm gonna try to work on this um, food truck festival vlog. I already got the um, in the damn Skippy vlog. I already got the clips up on my laptop so i just got to go ahead and uh, edit those hopefully i can get those out by the end of this week so i'll just leave me four vlogs left 
and hopefully I'll have some time to get caught up so like before another event comes down so but I think that's gonna be about it drink review uh will be premiering Saturday I'm not gonna tell you what it is and like I said like I said yeah it does involve a celebrity that's the only thing I can tell you so y'all yeah, be looking out for that this Saturday it will be premiering at noon uh, I don't really have any future streams coming up. I don't really have anything planned coming up on me. Anything planned for YouTube. Like I said, just except putting out the vlogs. There's nothing, no significant plans going on here. I'm not going back out. I'm not going out of town the rest of the year. So, and Pine Mountain is not really considered out of town. It's just like across the damn um, uh, county line. So, that's basically nowhere. It's just like going to Auburn. It's basically nowhere. But like, as far as like, really out of town like Macon or something like that that won't be happening until next year i think next time we'll be one out of town will be my birthday so yeah and then i'm gonna celebrate here in columbus when i get back from uh when i get on uh, the following week so okay i think that's officially about it so um that's a little update what's going on on the atheist Productions channel um anything else just keep your eyes and ears open on the community tab, that way you can know you can keep up with all things A Fizz Productions. So, so I'm gonna get up out of here. So y'all be easy. Until next time, A Fizz is signing out. Y'all have a great week, y'all. It's a new week. Start off on the right note. Holla, y'all later.